Hello, my name is Naomi Davis, one of the co-founders of the Music Therapy Spot, and I am here with Grace Parlier, who is going to share some tips about her internship interview experience and some things to keep in mind when preparing for those interviews. So Grace, I would love it if you could go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah. So hi, my name is Grace Perlier. Um, I use she, her pronouns. I'm at Alverno College. I'm graduating in a, a couple weeks from when we're recording this, um, but I will be at Park Nicolay Health Services in the Twin Cities. So Minneapolis, St. Paul of Minnesota, starting in July. Um, so Grace, can you tell me what setting and um, placements will you have at Park Nicolet? Yeah, so Park Nicolet Health Services is um, attached to the Methodist Hospital in the Twin Cities. Um, so I'll have a placement at the Frausche, like, got to figure out how to say it, Cancer Center, um, of Struthers Parkinson's Daycare Center, um, two days where I'll be rotating through at home hospice, um, and then uh, a placement where I'll be in the hospital with general um, surgery, post op, and just general medicine um, through their music medical therapy program. Perfect. So what were you kind of asked to prepare for your interview and what did that interview look like? Yeah, so um, I have a wonderful supervisor. She's very lovely and she gave me a whole list via email um, to prepare a song to that I had included in my audition uh, repertoire to sing and play. Um, and then I was supposed to prepare a fake book and just flip open to a random page of a song I was not familiar with and sight sing it and play an accompaniment while I went. It was pretty rough, but we did our best. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those were the, the two things I was told to prepare. And then I had a round robin interview with, um, five different members of the music therapists that they have at the different placements. Um, so they went one by one and asked either population focused questions or, um, just general questions about me as an interviewer and me as a, as a person, a music therapist. So yeah. Great. So those interviews, were they all in the same space interviewing you just like trading off questions or did you have five separate interviews with them? Yeah. So it was one interview for 15 minutes and it was on a Microsoft Teams meeting. So everybody was in their own square, which was a little disorienting at first. Um, and I'm used to Zoom. So it was also on Teams as opposed to so I had to figure out the sound settings. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they went one at a time and it was facilitated by the supervisor, but then um, each interviewer had a list of prepared questions that they switched off offering. Gotcha. Um, and then you mentioned that the things that you prepared for your interview were separate from the things you prepared for your audition. What yeah. was asked of you for the audition process and what did that look like? Yeah, so my audition process was part of the application. I had, I think, eight longer essay questions I had prepared for the application along with the cover letter and my um, resume. And then I had to prepare it was four different uh, videos of songs in different styles that I'd perform. Um, and it was mostly just to highlight musicianship and kind of give them a flavor of my musical interests too and strengths. Um, they had asked if I had material from a recital or something to also hear my primary instrument. I'm a vocalist, so um, I just pulled a clip from my senior recital, which was a few weeks prior to the application due. Um, so yeah, it was it was fairly low stress. It was just a matter of play a whole song um, and three different songs, and then the part of your recital was the musical component. Excellent. Well, that's a lot of meat <laughs> that you oh, have to prepare yeah. for. <laughs> so, and then kind of keeping that in mind, and I'm sure what everybody watching this is really wanting to know, what advice or tips would you give to students preparing to begin internship interviews in the same setting as you, or even just in general? Yeah, so I didn't initially think I wanted to go for a medical internship. Um, but I wanted something that had a lot of range and clientele and patients that I would see. And so when my professor suggested I apply for this one, it was a lot of like, oh, do I know enough medical terminology to survive an interview at this place? I did. A lot of it was, um, my, my first tip was a lot of the time they're looking at seeing how you assess 
patients or how you assess clients, um, especially in the medical setting, it's going to be a lot of like single treatment sessions with oncology and hospice. I'll have a little more long-term care. Um, but for my medical, my day where I'm in a hospital, I probably will only see people once or twice if, if even. Um, so a lot of their questions are focused on, okay, you're meeting somebody for the first time and this may be the only time you meet them. How do you assess like musical preference? Um, and so a lot of it was just kind of having that, you know, reflexivity to be like, you really need to allow a patient or a client to, to indicate what they prefer or view nonverbal signs or, you know, watch for stress and other things like that. Um, so just kind of calling on how do you assess people and how do you assess people accurately um, was a, was a nice thing. Um, another thing they asked me about was self-care because they said there's a lot of, at least with end of life and hospice, um, they want to make sure that as a, an intern that you're, you're taking care of yourself and able to complete the internship and have the, the proper coping strategies and support systems you need. Um, so thinking about how you will take care of yourself as an intern is, is a good thing to contemplate. Um, and another part of that is how you present yourself in the internship. I wore something that I felt comfortable in. Um, it's my favorite outfit. Um, <laughs> Um, it, it showed my personality and a lot of it is they're, they're, you're assessing them as a potential interview host, um, internship host, mm -hmm. as much as they're assessing you as an intern. You got the interview, so you've got to present yourself as honestly as you can with the skills that you have. Um, and if they, they take you, they'll show enthusiasm towards it. Um, part of why I liked this internship site was how they interacted with me before the interview process was um, I felt valued as a candidate and that they cared about me to prepare me with everything that I needed for the interview process so I could come in confidently. Um, I would be dissuaded by them if I felt discombobulated or um, like they were trying to trick me up or anything like that. So that was another thing is like as students, we need to advocate for feeling valued as candidates. Um, and if some, if you are interviewing somewhere and you don't feel kind of that, that they care about you just as much as you want this opportunity, um, it's probably not a great fit or you probably won't be satisfied there because you haven't entered the relationship feeling kind of that egalitarianism. So, yeah, um, that's so, that's so important. Internship is not forever, but it is at least six months. And if yeah. you don't kind of collaborate well with or work well with, or even interact well with the people that you're going to be spending a minimum of six months with, that is important to be able to assess that. And that yeah. Right. <laughs> An internship is, you know, a large learning process. There doesn't necessarily need to be other things getting in the way. So that's so important. Yeah. I also like they asked if I had questions to so preparing some questions that you have for them ahead of time. So you're not caught off guard with them saying, do you have any questions? And you go, uh, <laughs> just be sure you can clarify what feels unclear at the time and yeah. see how they react to. Oh, I, speaking of questions, was there a question that you asked that you were really glad that you asked or that they responded well to that kind of aided in your decision? Yeah. Um, I'd initially, I'd asked about just kind of the, the rotation of placement because they had said, there are all these places you're going to be. And I was like, I'm not a person who loves driving. Like I, it makes me a snap. I don't like driving 20 minutes from place to place throughout my day. That would be really disorienting for me. And I wouldn't enjoy that as an intern. So that was part of the reason I was a little on the fence about applying to this place too. Cause they mentioned all these different sites and I was like, well, I'm going to have to drive here to here to here every day. I'm going to go completely nuts. Um, so I knew private practice was probably going to be a <laughs> difficult place for me as well with that, with that in mind. Um, so I'd asked, I was like, well, how do these rotations work? Um, I was like, it seems like there are five different sites. Um, so just asking, and they it explained that each, and I prepared some questions that I'd asked over email before I'd even sure. filled in my application, but then they explained, no, you spend a full day where you're doing your at-home hospice care. So you're going to have to drive from people's houses. And then you're going to spend a full day where you're at this one hospital. You may have to move from unit to unit. Um, so that was a, a good question. It was nice to like give my concerns or my preferences as a person who likes being in one physical space. Um, and then I also asked about materials that I would have on hand because um, they had mentioned on song and iPad and I had a friend who 
um, had an internship and was expected to purchase an iPad before they started the internship. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's like a weighty thing to buy. And I, I kind of would like to know months and months and months before if that's an expectation. Yeah. Um, but they told me all the supplies I would have. And that too also made me feel like, oh, as an intern, while I'm unpaid, um, I'm at least financially supported in the resources that I need to yeah. successfully do my job with a keyboard and, and everything. So that was that's really awesome. nice here too. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Grace, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your wisdom and a little bit about your experience. <laughs> Do you have any last things to say or any last tips before we sign off? I'm just say like you want to be somewhere where you're going to be happy. Um, you can trust your gut and this is just as much as anything else. So if something makes sense to you practically, make sure that you feel comfortable interacting with these people. And if it's a virtual interview, um, if it's in person, I'm excited. I get to visit my site for the first time in two weeks in person. Oh, awesome. um, so if you have that opportunity to make sure you can take advantage of that to kind of center yourself. And it's not a matter of you need your internship set months and months before graduation. It's all going to work out when it needs to. And hopefully you have faculty that will support you in all this too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Grace, for joining me today. All right. um, for everybody else, uh, stay tuned. We're going to have a few more of these mini interviews of upcoming interns who have interviewed in a variety of different settings. So keep an eye peeled for the rest of this series. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye.